Hey, good morning. This is video 16 in the Tudor Bay Away series. This one is about risk reduction. Okay, this is a primary intent of the Tulip. Um, it's quite a bold title because I am indeed uh, telling you that Tulip is safer in every single case. Now, clearly, that's going to need some explaining. So, this is what a Tulip uh, GT looks like. GT stands for Goodell type. They're also ENT types, but we're dealing with an oropharyngeal airway that sits behind the tongue and seals your pharynx in its entirety from the tip of the soft palate to the tip of the epiglottis with a high volume, low pressure cuff. Now that claim that uh, tulip is safer in every single case is because it's safer at every single stage. So from insertion to removal, and I'll talk you through it. So effectively, we now have such a large body of evidence that it's time for you to accept that. Now, why should I ask you to do something so bold? And that's because certain thresholds have been crossed. Certain things have been proven. Um, it actually has now been shown that it's unethical not to use a tulip instead of a Goodell mask in a meta-analysis. That publication is Man and Mannequin. It's been presented twice, um, published twice. Um, and um, you can find it on the tulip website under Man and Mannequin. And that's under the Clinic Projects tab. We've also received now third party opinion, which have been basically publications and presentations now. You'll find those on the uh, some of the other videos in this series um, and you'll find those videos on the YouTube channel. OK, where's the evidence? I've written that three times, so you know I'm taking it seriously. All right. Now, we're saying that Tulip reduces uh, risk at every single stage. Let's talk about the Goodell mask man and mannequin research. Basically, if you can introduce a tulip 100% effectively first time and a Goodell only 55 to 58% of the time, then that is a risk reduction of between 42 and 45%. And I'm just going to ask you, how important is that in basic life support CPR scenarios? All right. Tulip, because it's directly connected, hands free, offers you a secure, stable ventilating airway instead of an unstable intermittent one, which is what a Goodell mask is. So the risk reduction in this straightforward swap, Goodell to Tulips for all first line airway interventions, basically offers you better ventilation, better oxygenation, better CO2 elimination. And that is a physiological reduction in risk. I think you would agree. Now, the Tulip basically also reduces the risk of trauma and side effects because it has the softest cuff pressure of any device. Basically, the device is supposed to run at 40 millimeters of mercury, which is mucosal fusion pressure. Uh, 50 centimeters of water is printed on every single tube with the appropriate volume. <clears throat> now, because Tulip sits behind the oropharynx and is a high volume, low pressure cuff that occludes the oropharynx in its entirety without a leak, you've got access to much higher ventilating pressures. Now, when I say higher ventilating pressures, too high. So you don't have to use them. So I would re um, I would recommend that you basically take control. I'm giving you that control, but I, I am asking you to exercise some responsibility over the power that you receive. Um, but it generally tulip generates higher ventilation pressures than any other available airway other than perhaps an ET tube. But it's equivalent. So. The, basically, one of the reasons Tulip is so effective is that it has one of the largest breathing tubes of any, not one of the largest, the largest uh, breathing tube of any airway device. This reduction there is basically a, a reduced resistance to breathing. But you'll say, well, why is that a risk reduction? Well, here's why. Because you can generate uh, easy pressure with a, a wide tube and there's a reduced resistance, you need an, a reduced average ventilating pressure so with um for example a Goodell and mask a consultant usually uh, ventilates above um 20 centimeters of water on 35 percent of occasions uh at least on the research something like that uh and with a tulip that's simply not necessary so a tulip actually reduces the pressure that you're using today with the Goodell and mask hmm? you it'll afford you higher tidal volumes for less pressure so it actually reduces the risk of regurgitation and because it's oropharyngeal it doesn't run the risk of the uh, what the lma does the tip of the lma goes into the esophagus opens it and allows passive regurgitation in 25 percent of cases not many people seem to be aware of that so the reference is there for you to look at now next 
if you get into trouble and there's a tulip in place, then you're not really in trouble because you can intubate through the tulip in a dire emergency. Now, that video I'm going to link at the end is one of the two end screens and you can take your pick. This is an ENT tulip and an ophthalmology tulip. Now, if you don't intubate, what's the risk reduction? Well, if you don't intubate, there's no intubation and no extubation. There's no neuromuscular paralysis. There's less drugs and there's less intervention. So you don't have to go from a Gadella mask for an induction to an ET tube and then back again. So you save a lot of time, money and intervention. So in addition to all that, the tulip affords uh, semi-conscious tolerance. And this is going to be one of the other videos that you may have seen before of the old lady recovering. But basically, fully awake self-extubation has got to be one of the biggest risk reductions, because if you can recover every single patient fully awake, and I mean GCS 14 slurred speech with a full return of airway reflexes, uh, I mean, I think the safety benefits are, are huge. I think the risk reduction is massive. So one of the other things that Tulip's designed to do is it has a, a very big cuff and it has a tube, so what a flexible tube. So what happens is you leave the cuff fully inflated and the patient pulls it out when they recover. The fully inflated cuff keeps the tube central to the oropharynx and as it slides past the platypharyngeal, field, fold, platypharyngeal folds and the mouth, it keeps the flexible breathing tube central to the lumen at all times, which means you can breathe through it at any stage, which is complete in, in complete contrast to LMAs and IGELs. And as you know, because as they slide out, they end up being occluded by the back of the tongue so you can't ventilate and also with a, with a, an LMA you have to like oh I think I'm going to have to pull your teeth out if they're biting and I don't like that much so the recommendation is to keep the tulip cuff fully inflated so that there is no obstruction so as you can see tulip genuinely does reduce risk at every stage which is why it reduces risk in every single case particularly in ENT with no intubation particularly in BLS particularly in CPR situations where you have that secure hands-free directly connected ventilating airway delivering 250% more oxygen um, the self-recovery I think is huge particularly imagine that with um, difficult airways if you use a tulip intubate through it and then allow recovery with a tulip I think that's going to make a difference to you.